Here it started as something that felt half a world away. A simple name. Hurricane Fiona. And we start with Hurricane Fiona. Power on the entire island wiped out by Hurricane Fiona. From there it shattered paradise. With the Caribbean buckling against its fury, we took worried notice. The danger was real. Soon it was our turn. As day broke, the damage had been done. Thousands without power. Utility poles splintered like matchsticks. Truro's mayor, Bill Mills, took stock of the situation. Well, uh, number one, it was very surprising because we uh, all had the thought that it was heading east more than uh, it did. But uh, it did hit, and it hit hard. The initial strike weakened a lot of trees, and then uh, uh, the winds that continued uh, later on uh, was the final push and put a lot down. Uh, so, as you know, uh, what we're dealing with is, along with everybody else in Atlanta, Canada, uh, getting our power back, and um, we're making some good strides. But while crews feverishly worked to restore power, many remained without. So Mike Smith and the Rath Eastlink Community Center staff opened their doors as a comfort station. Quite a few people come in looking for these hot showers, and when our power was restored, um, it was about an hour and a half before we were able to open, which was great. We saw a large outpouring of the community come in um, for hot showers, and a lot of it was just the sense of community and, and talking with people and commiserating on what happened. Um, so I think a lot of people forget during uh, these kind of times that it's both a physical health crisis where people uh, are displaced from their homes and are without power, uh, but it's also a bit of a mental health uh, dilemma where people uh, need to commiserate on what happened and need to uh, have that sense of community again. So it's been really rewarding for us here at the Rath Eastland Community Centre to, uh, to be able to open our doors to the community and uh, communities in our name. So I mean, essentially, uh, that's our mission statement to, uh, to benefit our community in any way possible. And as staff help those without power, Kevin Bushy turned dressing rooms into a home for out-of-town power crews. We've got cots in here for 50, 50 linemen we can house and keep overnight, and we've got shower facilities and whatnot here for them when they come in. So these guys have been working all hours of the night to come in, and the least we can do is provide them with some shelter and a nice shower, and we got 50 cots. So yeah, we're pretty much set up for them. We had a call, or I had a call from Nova Scotia Power on Monday, I believe it was, and they were at kind of at wit's end because there was no accommodations available anywhere. All the hotels were booked in the immediate area. They have all these crews coming in from Vermont, New Brunswick, Quebec, Ontario, and nowhere to house the linemen. So I had said, our ice is down. We lost our ice during the hurricane anyway with our power outage. So I said, I can convert our six dressing rooms and referee room here. And she said, we have cots we have everything available we'll send over to you so next thing i know i've got trucks rolling in here with sleeping bags and cots and um it was great it was a really great execution it came together fairly quickly and we had everything all set up and ready to go within a couple hours for the linemen to arrive so yeah it was a great effort on, on both parties as nova scotia power and eastland crews worked hard to restore services General Manager Matt Moore focused on getting the ice surface restored. One of the only arenas in the province that uh, keeps ice year-round. Uh, we typically only change our ice every couple of years when we have um, branding to change. We want to change the look and feel of our ice. Um, however, with Hurricane Fiona uh, impacting us the way it did, we were about four hours too short uh, with the power outage, of, power outage of being able to maintain our ice surface. and. What happens is once obviously the heat and the moisture impacts the building, uh, when the water and ice uh, loses the um, contact with the cement, it'll result in um, bubbling and, and uh, so our team was forced to remove the ice and reinstall it over the last week. And um, as you can see behind me, they're making great progress. Um, we're happy to be able to get our ice back in action for the season and try to support our local community groups and our junior A team uh, as quickly as possible. A lot of effort and long days have been put into fixing the worst damage this province has ever seen. So to all those who have opened their doors, climbed poles, or simply checked on their neighbor, thank you. From Truro, I'm Charles White with Eastlink Community TV.